adding an attribute. An attribute is used to provide additional serving options to a product. Examples of these include a choice of sides or sources. To create an attribute, select Product Management and then Attributes from the menu. We will now press Add New Attribute in the top right corner of the screen. Once pressed, you will see a blank attribute box appear on the page. This is where we will enter the details of our new attribute. Start by entering the name for the attribute. This is what you will use to identify the attribute. In this example, we will name the attribute Sides. Next, we will enter the values. Values are the different options you want to choose from once the attribute has been clicked. To enter a value, type into the Values box and then press Enter on the keyboard. In this example, we will use chips, rice and garlic bread. Once the values have been entered, press the Save button. Now the attribute has been created, we should attach it to a product. To do this, select Product Management from the menu and click Products. Now we will find the product we want to attach the attribute to and press the Edit button. For this example, we will use the product Pepperoni Pizza. Once the product page has loaded, click on the Attributes tab. Next, press the Browse button and select the attribute to add to the product. Press the Add button and then press the Save button. Now, to see the attribute in action, head over to your front office and press the Settings wheel in the bottom right and press Hard Reload. Once the page has reloaded, click on the product and you will see your new attribute. To use the attribute, click on a value and press the Done button. You will now see the value appear beneath the product in the order list. This will also show on your till and kitchen receipts. Editing an attribute To edit an attribute, go to the Attributes page. Find the attribute you wish to edit by using the search box at the top of the page or by scrolling. Once you have found the attribute, there are multiple ways you can edit it. The attribute values can be changed by pressing the X button to delete the value or by entering a new value. If you need to add a price to your values, this can be done by pressing Variance Prices. This submenu lets you enter a price for each value. The Number of Free Items box is used to make the first value you click on free and any additional values after that will be charged. Other features include multi-select, a manual free override button and the no attribute button. Once you have made any changes, press the save button next to the attribute. Go to your front office and reload it using the hard reload button located in the settings wheel. Once reloaded, any changes you have made will be applied. Want to find out more about your XEPass software? Visit our channel for more guides. Thank you for watching.